Hey everyone, it's Brianne with The Hobby Doxy, and today I'm going to show you a super easy way to get even full glitter coverage on your cups using Crystalac and a tea strainer. In order to do this method, you're going to need Crystalac Bright Tone mixed with Crystalac Reducer. I use a ratio of one teaspoon reducer for every two and a half ounces of Bright Tone. You'll also need a fine mesh tea strainer and good quality glitter. Your first step is to add a thin layer of your Bright Tone and Reducer mix to your cup. It's a good idea to base paint your cup a similar color to your glitter color to help achieve that even full coverage appearance. This cup is painted with universal white that's been tinted from Crystalac. I use my finger to apply the Bright Tone and then I let my cup spin for a few seconds to allow the product to self level. It's okay if it appears a bit streaky. It'll continue to level as you apply your glitter. As your cup spins and levels, go ahead and get ready to start applying the glitter. Place a piece of clean paper under your cup to collect and reuse your glitter. Today I'm using Morning Glory Extra Fine Glitter by Heavenly Creations. Fill your tea strainer with your glitter and then hold it about six to eight inches above the cup and lightly tap the tea strainer to sprinkle the glitter down onto the cup. It's okay to work slowly. The key here is to lightly apply the glitter around the cup gradually so that the weight of the glitter doesn't overwhelm the bright tone. Continue to sprinkle your glitter over your cup as it spins, keeping a good distance above the cup and making sure to give attention to the top and bottom rims. Continue tapping until the tea strainer is out of glitter. This will help make sure that you have full coverage around the cup and that you don't need a second layer of glitter. The next step is the most important. Once you've applied your glitter, walk away. Let your cup spin undisturbed so that the bright tone has time to dry and fully adhere the glitter. The reducer does extend out the dry time, so it's a good idea to let your cup spin for one hour and then at least four more hours on a dry rack before you move on to your next step. Once your cup is dried, then you can proceed with sealing and smushing your glitter with E6000. If you follow these steps, keeping your glitter application gentle and having that patience with the drying time, you should find that you get awesome full coverage glitter from just one application. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and happy crafting.